Your name is Marion. Uh -huh. I tried to catch you last time you came in here. They was like, um, I forgot what the guy's name was. They said, I mean, they said you being here stealing stuff. Look, put, get, put these, put, put, put these in your purse for me, and I'll get it from when you get outside. You done lost your damn mind. No, because the guy said you being here. No, the guy ain't told you no fucking shit like no, where, that. No, where you going? I'm going to go make my groceries. No, I, I need you to steal these from no, me. No, you don't need me to do no shit like no, that. No, wait, Miss Marion, where? Hey, Miss Marion, if you don't get back down here. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. The super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You fought two times. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Thank you, thank you. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? So, um, we had a Super Bowl shooting the other day during the parade, and um, I didn't get a chance to cover it because Fonnie Willis was all over the news, and I got a little distracted with Fonnie Willis. But now is the perfect time, and let's talk about it. Okay, <clears throat> we have Miss Ann Coulter here, everybody's favorite racist. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, did you know that Ann Coulter used to date Jimmy Walker, guys? So. Knock it off with the racist jokes, okay? I'm just joking. But Ann Coulter was on Bill Maher's show, and I kind of like Ann Coulter because she says what's on her mind that everybody been thinking of, right? She's not afraid to say it. She will, she will tell you the truth, and if you don't like it, you know, so be it. But um, she's a provocateur, but not just to be provocative. She believes what she says. All right, but she's kind of a, you know, yeah. Well, like one day she was like Chris Christie. She was a big Chris Christie supporter. And then the next day, she don't like him no more. Mitt Romney, another one. She used to be a big Mitt Romney supporter. I'm talking about the biggest out there. The next day, she's writing op-eds about Mitt Romney. And the same thing with Donald Trump. And she was a big Donald Trump. She was like the first person to be a Trump supporter. And then when soon he became president, she don't like Donald Trump anymore. So again, she's kind of a, you know, but she says what she says. So she's on Bill Maher's show. And you can see this knucklehead, Van Jones. You know, he got a smirk on his face because he just, uh, you know, he's he's black power all the way. But Jones is there, and she says this. We don't know who did this shooting, by the way, the, the, the Super Bowl shooting. We have we, some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting, we'd know. Who, well, we don't know. But they, I mean, they That's how we know it's not a white man. I can tell you that much. Do you think they were, they were repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for what, like a year? Um, oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? I, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay, anyway. well, we don't, we, for this one, for right now, as of Friday night, February 16th. We know. We don't, we don't officially know. Okay, you know you have special powers. Bill Martin was a bright guy, and she, he knows what's up, too. But he's going to act dumb, because, again, the media didn't report it, so he'll try to use that as an excuse. But now, we got the truth, right? Let's go. There tonight, we're learning police have now charged two men with murder in the shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl celebration last week. You remember this terrifying scene. People running for their lives right after the Chiefs left the stage. Obviously, officers with guns running, a young mother killed, more than 20 others shot. Police are identifying the person who pulled his gun first as Lindell Mays, 
They say the other suspect, Dominic Miller, his gun is the one that killed that young mom, Lisa Lopez Galvin. Two teenagers have already also been charged. So the media, Bill Maher, Van Jones, are going to stand on this, you know, um, we're not going to release the name of the juvenile because they're kids. 17-year-old. I think both of them are 17-year-olds. They don't want to release the names because they're juvenile. Unless you're white. What? That's what Ann Coulter was saying. Right? Remember this guy here? It's at this point that we can identify this individual. Thanks to specific markers like the orange medical pack, green shirt, blue medical gloves, and a beige baseball cap. NBC News has reviewed his social media profile, cross-referenced it with earlier videos of the same individual that day, and is confident that this is 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh-huh. So now, now you want to release the name of a 17-year-old white kid who was defending himself against a guy who pulled out a gun on him and tried to kill him. Now you want to release the name of that guy. But the two black punks who walk into a crowd and shot up 22 people, one, those two punks, those two juveniles, you want to protect their names. Yep. Yeah, we got it. We got it, media. We got it. We know what you're doing. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Chiefs fans, get off my lawn.